Hey CrossFitingas, Wednesday's workout is hellhole. We've got five rounds of a two minute AMRAP with two minutes of rest built in after each round. The AMRAP is gonna consist of 35 double unders, five lateral burpees over the dumbbell, and then max devil's press in the time remaining. After the two minutes is up, we're gonna rest for two minutes and then repeat that for five rounds total. Our score today is gonna to be the total number of devil's press completed across the five rounds. The double unders and burpees should take us about 45 seconds, leaving just over a minute to accumulate reps through that devil's press. Modifications for today. If we don't have double unders, we're gonna do 60 singles or 60 toe taps. The devil's press is meant to be completed with two dumbbells, but we'll show a single dumbbell version as well. And if we're working with a barbell, we're gonna load the barbell with a moderate weight, 115.85 would be prescribed in the gym, and do a barbell power snatch. We've got some short intervals today with rest built in, so we're looking to move with purpose through each round. The numbers on the jump rope and the burpees are small, allowing us to push the pace on that piece a bit. Once you get to the devil's press, try to settle into a strong rhythm. Today we're looking to move fast, work hard, recover, and then repeat that for five rounds. For our warm-up today, we're going to perform 30 seconds of each of the following movements, starting off with single unders. After the 30 sec seconds of singles, we're going to go to active Spider-Man. Stepping one foot out, dropping that elbow down, reaching up, alternating the legs out. After the active Spider-Man, we're going to stay in our push-up position and do 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Cycling those knees in and back, trying to get our knees to our elbows. After that, we're going to stand it up and do another 30 seconds of single unders. And from there, move on to active Samson. So we're stepping out into the lunge, reaching up overhead, pushing those hips forward, getting a good hip flexor stretch. After the Samson stretch, we're going to move on to 30 seconds of frog hops. This is basically the bottom half of the burpee, just practicing jumping those feet in to replace our hands. After the frog hops, we're going to do another 30 seconds of single unders and then go to push up to downward dog. So again, from our plank position, chest to the floor, pressing back into that downward dog stretch, driving the heels to the ground, getting a good stretch through our calves for our double unders today. After the push up to downward dog, we're going to do 30 seconds of burpees. We don't have to do a ton of reps here, just work on warming up that burpee for the workout today. Nice and smooth and controlled down and up. Each two minute AMRAP today is gonna to start with 35 double unders and five lateral dumbbell burpees. We wanna set up our equipment today so that we can transition smoothly between each of those two movements. So as soon as you finish your double unders, you can drop directly down for those five burpees. For the lateral burpees, we wanna drop our hands down slightly in front of the dumbbells so that when we jump our feet back in, they're gonna be in line with the dumbbell and then we can just hop over. If we're not doing double unders today, we can either scale with 60 singles or 60 toe taps to our dumbbell. Each time our toe touches the top of that dumbbell, that counts as one rep and we're doing 60 total. The devil's press in today's workout is a challenging movement that requires us to get two dumbbells overhead in one fluid motion. This big range of motion will be easier to cover if we're snappy with the hips. So similar to a kettlebell swing, we don't wanna just use the arms to swing the bells overhead. We wanna snap the legs straight by squeezing the quads and the glutes to drive the weight to the finished position. The more aggressive the snap, the easier the bells will go up. Controlling the dumbbells is also gonna be important in this movement, and there's two places to keep this in mind. The first is on the floor, as we're lowering back down to the ground, we wanna make sure to position the bells wide enough about shoulder width to allow the chest to contact the floor on each rep. From that finished position as we bring them back down, stopping at the shoulders can slow the weight down and make it easier to stay under control and in a good position as we lower to the ground. So Kate's demonstrating the double dumbbell version here, but we can also do this with a single dumbbell. So in that case, all the same things still apply. We're gonna do our burpee first on the ground, and then as we stand up, we're swinging that weight up overhead to a finish, but then we're gonna alternate arms each and every rep. So as she finishes in that overhead position, she's still gonna bring it down to the shoulder to control, switch hands, and then go down for that next rep on the other side. 